a really popular way to uh, finish a session with a with a big group of players. Um, so let's just say the example is there's two courts, um, two coaches, two courts. At the end of the session, they might bring their, their sort of seven or eight players or ten players together. Really popular format to finish is what we call like a team event format. Um, so I'll use an example of eight players here, and uh, and, a, and a good way you could play best of three sets, or you could play best of five sets to, to finish. Um, if you've got uh, say half an hour to 40 minutes, you might play best of five sets first to 21. If you've got less time, you might shorten up that format and only play best of three or shorten the game a bit. So a couple of different scenarios you can do. Um, let's just say you've got team captains. You've picked your teams so they're as even as possible. Um, here are a couple of uh, formats that can work well. First game you can play is two versus two on the baseline. So really simple. Coach, coach will be feeding the ball in and the players will be playing the point out. Um, in double sport, uh, with, it, with players choose one player might decide to come up, but as long as they start the point on the baseline, that's that's one really good format. After they play the point, the players will switch out. The next team will come up. Same thing on this side. After they play the point, the players will switch out there. Um, the uh, so that's that's a good uh, that's a good format there um, to play the first round out. First to first to 15 or 21, all players on the baseline. Uh, another really good scenario is uh, to have, you can do this as your second round for example, you can have one up, one back, okay? And that, that literally has the coach feeding in, the player plays the first ball cross court, and then you get into this rally exchange with the players, net players trying to get involved. Um, so a good round number two. Round number three, um, you can switch it around and do the reverse and just have uh, basically add court points. Coach would probably switch sides. Coach would probably feed into this scenario here and then you're playing cross-court points with um, the players at the net trying to get involved there. So that's that's the three rounds down there. Um, the uh, fourth round, you can start to mix it up and do a little bit more um, single-space points, which is quite common. So as an example, you can do uh, ping-pong style points, which is basically hit one shot, join the, uh, join the end of the line. Okay, so basically coach would, uh, coach would feed the ball in this player would hit their first shot. Okay, they'd move to the back. This player, uh, this player would hit their, their shot. They'd move to the back. This player would hit their shot. They'd move to the back. Okay, and so on. So you're literally hitting and joining the end of the line. Um, quite, quite a fun one to do. That's an example of say a fourth set. And then if you are uh, after, let's just say, hopefully you've got it to, to two sets all. Um, you've got the uh, got the chance to um, play just singles points. So basically, you'd have your number one player from this team playing against the number one player for that team. They'd play their point out, full point out against each other, all right, then they'd join the back, okay, then you'd have your number two player playing against the number two player, okay, they'd play their singles point and move to the back there. So this scenario with eight players often works well if the players have worked really hard over a 90 minute or a two hour session. Players are quite happy to sort of wait off at the back if they're physically pretty tired. Um, but that's only a scenario I typically do once it's the very, very end of the session and the players are, are, are fatigued there. Um, other scenarios, you could do uh, dingles. You could have more players on the court. You can do you know, four, four versus four quadruples or triples. Um, lots of different you know, ways that you could do that. But a team event format um, is a really great way for players to, to uh, finish on a really high note at the end of a session.